Hey, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Coach Jen here. Sorry for the uh, uh, the delay in getting on. Um, I'm sure everyone has been waiting with bated breath uh, to see today's post. Um, it is up on the uh, Instagram stories now, and it's live on Zen Planner and a little blog post um, talking about what's going on. So, um, continuation from last week. Let me get off me and show you what we have. Um, a little very similar to what we did last week. Um, I got to give a shout out to my bulldog here. Keep an eye on the board. So week two, day one. Um, similar intervals to last week. We're just adding a little bit more volume. Uh, keeping the rest domains the same. Um, but adding two more 400s. And then if you would like to do that optional 200 afterwards. Um, adding one more there. So last week we did uh, six and three. And we've got eight and four today. Again, uh, if you choose to do that optional 200 uh, afterwards, add in another three minutes of rest. So you get a total of five in between the longer intervals before we go uh, sprinty, sprinty there. So a um, little empty on the bottom here. That's normally my warm up stuff, but keep that as easy run, dynamic stretching, and some drill work. Uh, drill work is normally like some pulls, uh, some hops. So really just kind of warming up the lower legs. Uh, getting the the hamstrings ready for uh, for some sp for for some fast work. Uh, we want to make sure, especially. I mean, we're going a little bit longer distances this time, well, except for that 200. But we want to make sure that everything's primed and ready to run to run fast. Uh, it's okay on these intervals, especially if you're like going around a block or track or something, to have uh, like rolling or running starts. So we're not going from a dead sprint. So the chances of um, like pulling a hammy are hopefully low, but that's the point of the warm ups and the drills and and the dynamic stretching to make sure that we're warmed up for that. Now, if you're like me and you're still feeling a little wrecked from Sunday's uh, Sunday's uh, hero workout, you might need a little bit more running and uh, and some some stretching before uh, before doing this. So uh, always take it easy, kind of listen to the body and do as much um, as you need to to get ready. Uh, one thing I want to talk about, and I mentioned it briefly in um, in the blog post today, is talking about rib flare. So we see this a lot with, and hopefully you can still hear me when I put this down here. Um, we talk about this a lot in workouts with with overhead work of being aware of this excessive rib flare. Right. And it's similar with running. We want to make sure that when we're running, that we're keeping shoulders down and that we're running, that we're not sticking our ribs out when we run. So I, I described it in the website or on the blog post as that finish line or when you break the tape. All right. So we want to avoid running like this with this excessive lean or rib flare. We will be leaning because pose running is that pose or pull pose and fall. Um, but we want to make sure since we're not going super, super sprinty. So if you're thinking like 50s, you're, you're, you're low on the lean or leaning forward more, a little bit slower or longer distances, that lean's not as excessive. So make sure we're leaning from the ankles versus pushing from the upper body when we're sprinting. Keeping the shoulders back and down, but not over pulling. So just think natural back and down, shoulders under ears on that setup when we're running. Right, keep everything relaxed, move in, always kind of shake things out so we're not running tense. If you're running tense, it's hard to run fast. Relax things up, take a breath before you go. So, one last time, let me get it off me and on the important stuff here. Uh, week two, day one of our eight week program, we got some 400s, two minutes rest, and then you got the optional 200s afterwards um, to wrap that up. So all this stuff is, um, it is posted in Zen planner. The, the daily workouts are there as well. Um, so you can record, uh, times, weights, anything that you do with that when David get those, gets those posts up. Um, and then I also have the, the running wad, uh, spreadsheet. I'll make sure it's all linked in, in the blog post. So, uh, people keep going back to that. And I believe it's also in the community group as well. Everyone has edit and view and comment access to that. So even if you aren't doing these workouts, please enter some information. Let me know that you're getting out just did 30 minutes of, you know, walk, run around the block, something like that. 30 minutes of social distancing running. So, um, I'd love to know who's, who's participating. Um, 
at least just getting out and running. So uh, any information like that is appreciated. Again, I apologize for being on late today. Um, I'll try to be more timely. Have a good one, guys.